former President Trump poured cold water on another potential debate and said it was too late in the process to hold one. Nicole Killeen has the latest from the campaign trail. President Trump rallied in North Carolina, where he quickly refused to participate in a second presidential debate with Vice President Kamala Harris. But now she wants to do a debate right before the election with CNN because she's losing badly. But it's like a fighter who goes into the ring and gets knocked out. The first thing he says is, I want a rematch. It was the former president's seventh trip to the Tar Heel State and his first outdoor rally since another apparent assassination attempt at his Florida golf club almost a week ago. Law enforcement perched nearby as Trump hoisted his grandchildren behind bulletproof glass. Make American great again. During his roughly one hour speech, the former president made no mention of embattled Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson, who he has endorsed for governor. The GOP candidate allegedly called himself a black Nazi and reportedly made other inflammatory comments on a pornographic website more than a decade ago. Do you think it hurts the former president's chances here in the state? Um, I don't think anything could hurt his chance right now because I think that there's been so many worse things that have happened to him. Mark Robinson is the right guy at the right time, and so is Donald Trump. In Pennsylvania, Governor Tim Walz and the Harris campaign seized on the controversy. We got folks running as Republicans for governor that are proud to refer themselves as Nazis. With less than two months to go before the election, both candidates enter this final stretch with more cash. The Harris campaign and the Democratic National Committee pulled in roughly $257 million last month. That's about triple what Trump and the RNC pulled in at $85 million. Nicole Killian, CBS News, Wilmington, North Carolina.